All right, I have fantasy plays that I really like for tonight. This will be the main slip. I'll be taking a combination of these in all my slips tonight. We had a decent night last night, more hit than missed, but still suffered from blowouts and hooks. Let's hope tonight all that is avoided. First up is probably the most volatile of the group, Cam Reddish. His PRA, point total, and fantasy score are all in play for me. I am choosing his fantasy score because I believe he can get this number even if he has an off night shooting. He should be blowout proof and Detroit doesn't play defense. My model projects him for 24 fantasy points, I'm going to take the over. Next up is Tyrese Maxey, who I originally took his point total, but I also like his fantasy total. It's honestly either or for me, but for this slip, I'll take the fantasy score. He's facing the Pacers who struggle on the defensive side of things, and also it's a pace up spot. Pick which one you like and go from there. I'm taking the over. Next is Jimmy Buckets, who finally has been rising to the occasion. I assume they would try to start winning games because the regular season is winding down, and it seems he's finally gained an interest in trying again. He's projected for 44 fantasy points in my model, and this is an elite matchup. I'll take the over and hope Jimmy drops those buckets. Next up from that same game is Clint Capella, and I have no idea why his fantasy prop is still being put so low. I love this prop, it is absolutely my favorite. Let's hope that doesn't jinx it. I like his over PRA for the first half as well. Since they got a new coach, he's just been playing hard, getting boards, scoring, and even a few stocks. I'll be taking this over in many slips tonight. Toronto has been god-awful as of late, but Denver struggles against point guards historically. I don't know which Fred Van Vliet is going to show up tonight, but if it's the one that makes his shot, he's going to clear 36 fantasy points. My model has him right around 38 fantasy points with a 28% usage rate. Go ahead and take the over here. This next one is my second favorite, Jamal Murray, which was able to get in at 35.5 fantasy points, but he has literally been bumped as I am recording this to 37.5. I will still advise you to take it, but it is unfortunate to see it happen in real time. I do these as quick as I can, but this is the world we live in. He's projected for 39 fantasy points according to my model, and is in an elite matchup. If the game stays close, he should get this prop. The next person depends on news, but I took him hoping it breaks my way. Donovan Mitchell may sit tonight or may be limited because of that finger, and if that happens, Garland is a smash play. Even if Mitchell plays, I still like Darius Garland to go over here. He's projected for 38 fantasy points in my model with a high usage rate of around 29%. I will be taking him in some slips. Alright guys, that's what I got for you today. Please remember this is gambling and to bet responsible because anything can and will happen. Blowouts are becoming the norm as season winds down. Let's hope we can get that momentum going into Taco Tuesday tomorrow where I will release a video for every taco that drops. Please like and follow the channel, it helps me out a lot and helps keep this free for you. If you could sub to my YouTube, I would also appreciate that. Good luck out there, thanks for watching, and as always, crush.